the story was sent in by a man named Mark. He's 32 years old and lives in a small town in Vermont. Mark wanted to share his terrifying experience from one winter night that still haunts him to this day. Mark never believed in the paranormal. He was a rational man, always relying on facts and logic. But what happened that night made him question everything. It was a cold December evening, the kind of night where the wind howled through the trees and the snow fell in thick, heavy flakes. Mark had just finished dinner and was settling down in his living room to watch some TV. His house was isolated, surrounded by woods with the nearest neighbor over a mile away. As he was flipping through the channels, he heard a loud knock at the door. It was strange because no one ever came to visit him, especially not in the middle of a snowstorm. Hesitant, Mark got up and slowly walked to the door. When he opened it, there was no one there. Just the howling wind and the snow swirling around. Confused, he stepped outside and looked around, but all he saw were his own footprints in the fresh snow. Mark shrugged it off, thinking maybe it was just a branch hitting the door or something. But as it turned to go back inside, the knocking started again, louder this time. He quickly spun around, but still, no one was there. His heart started to race. He knew something was wrong, but he couldn't put his finger on it. He slammed the door shut and locked it, his mind racing. Was someone playing a prank on him? But who would come all the way out here in this weather? He tried to calm himself down, telling himself it was just the wind or some animal. But the knocking didn't stop. It was relentless, pounding on the door like someone was desperate to get inside. Mark grabbed a flashlight and his phone, but when he tried to call someone, he realized his phone had no signal. It had worked just fine earlier, but now it was dead. He was completely cut off from the world. Panic set in. He decided to check the door again, but this time he would be ready. He slowly crept towards the door, flashlight in hand. The knocking grew louder with every step he took. When he finally reached the door, he took a deep breath and yanked it open. Again, no one was there. But this time, something was different. There were footprints in the snow. They weren't his. They were small. Like a child's, leading away from his house and into the woods. Mark's mind raced. Who could it be? A lost child. But how could a child survive out there in this weather? He knew. He couldn't just ignore it. So he grabbed his coat, put on his boots, and followed the footprints. The snow was falling heavily and the wind was biting, but Mark pushed on. The footprints led deeper and deeper into the woods, further from the safety of his home. He called out, hoping to find the child, but there was no response, only the eerie silence of the woods. As he continued to follow the trail, the footprints suddenly stopped. They just ended, right in the middle of a small clearing. There was no sign of the child, no sign of anyone. It was as if they had vanished into thin air. Mark's blood ran cold. He shone his flashlight around, but there was nothing. Just the empty clearing and the sound of the wind in the trees. Feeling a sense of dread, Mark decided to head back home. But as he turned around, he froze. Standing at the edge of the clearing was a figure. It was small, about the size of a child, but there was something wrong with it. Its face was obscured by the shadows, and it didn't move, just stood there, staring at him. Mark called out to the figure, but it didn't respond. It just stood there, silent and still. His heart pounded in his chest as he slowly backed away, not taking his eyes off the figure. As he retreated, the figure started to move towards him, slowly at first, then faster and faster and faster. Mark turned and ran, his heart racing, the figure's footsteps pounding behind him. He didn't dare look back. He just ran as fast as he could, 
back towards the safety of his home. When he finally reached his house, he slammed the door shut and locked it, his breath coming in ragged gasps. The knocking had stopped, but Mark knew he wasn't alone. He could feel it, a presence in the house, watching him. He spent the rest of the night huddled in the corner of his living room, clutching his flashlight, too terrified to move. The wind outside howled, and the snow continued to fall, but the house was eerily silent. When the morning finally came, Mark cautiously opened the door and looked outside. The footprints were gone, covered by the fresh snow, and there was no sign of the figure. Mark never found out who or what was at his door that night. He never saw the figure again, but the experience left him shaken. He moved out of that house a few months later, unable to shake the feeling that something was watching him, waiting for him to return. Have you ever experienced something like this? What do you think was knocking at Mark's door that night? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this story, don't forget to like and subscribe to Saturday Stories for more chilling tales.